Oh, would you look at that? An actually good spin-off this time. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 13, Episode 10, Wayward Sisters. Basically, this is an intro episode as a spin-off idea that the show creators have had for a little while. It's a much better spin-off idea than the one they had, I don't know how many seasons ago. The idea of like a monster family crime syndicate thing, it didn't work that well. This one is admittedly a lot better. However, it does the exact same thing that every mid-season return of Supernatural does, is it wastes a really interesting premise. What we saw was Sam and Dean trapped in this other world with a giant freaking dinosaur footprint, and they squander it. Like, they're not even there for more than five minutes because the brothers barely get five minutes of screen time in this episode. What we do get is actually a really well-developed team of the girls consisting of Jody Mills, her adopted daughter, Claire Novak, uh, Minnesota <laughs> uh, Sheriff, and the Psychic Girl. And they actually form a pretty decent team. The humor and the banter is really well written, and the conflict between them is really well written too. Claire Novak's rebellious idea doesn't come off as hammy or as as hammy as it's been before and actually works towards something. Jody Mills' protectiveness is also kind of countered in with the final resolution of the episode. So the directions of the story actually meet considerable ends rather than just rudimentary, normal, cliche, supernatural writing. There's actually some good development out of this. And I actually have to admit, I am not know if I'll be able to watch it because I can barely watch Supernatural as it is with work, but it does interest me, especially with the ending. It actually made loss mean something until the end of the episode, but we actually get a really good dynamic. And the humor was fantastic too. I love the Minnesota Sheriff. When he pulled out all these guns, like, why do you have all these? I'm from Minnesota. I've been watching Fargo the last little while, so it was really funny just to see that. Otherwise, I like the episode, I just don't like how much the else world was squandered. And it turned out that the monster was just this big, bland, CG, walking yeti thing. And we're probably never going to see that again. However, apparently there's this girl who has this spear thingy who beats up Sam and Dean and then kills the Dreamwalker girl when Claire and her come and save Sam and Dean. And then, however, this girl comes back through the door, but it doesn't make any sense because how did a second door get open? We only know that the only person who can open doors is, uh, is Lucifer's son, so what? How did that even happen? It turns out it's it is the Dreamwalker girl. I I don't know. The ending kind of ruined it for me because I actually liked Claire's monologue at the end about just the idea of family needing them and all that. I think that was good. And then it just kind of ended itself with that cheesy ending. However, when the brothers and them and Jody talk about how they're gonna work and they say, oh, you know, Sioux Falls. We've got that, you guys can save the world. So it kind of made me think that this show is going to be sort of like a Buffy idea that things just keep on coming to this town. Otherwise, how else are they going to differentiate this show from Supernatural other than it just being a, a team of five women rather than just being the brothers going from town to town. That's the thing that I'm just interested in seeing how this show will differentiate itself from Supernatural because literally if they just do going to this town, going to this town, it's not going to be any different. So if they do keep it all in Sioux Falls, maybe they can turn it into sort of a Buffy concept. It's not like these guys haven't borrowed from that show before. But in the end, I liked Wayward Sisters and admit that some of the stuff was squandered in terms of the Elseworld and then the ending, which is really weird. But I like the concept. I admit that this spinoff probably could work. It depends on how the ratings go through it, but in the end I'll give episode 10 of season 13 a 5 out of 7. It's a decent episode. It's actually probably one of the better returns, mainly because they didn't focus on disappointing you with the Elseworld as much. They only spent like three minutes, so 
you only can feel disappointed for that short amount of time. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like what you see, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. I review all the episodes of Supernatural as they come, and I'm also trying to review the retro episodes as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.